Let me show you two different ways to uh, type in these matrices in your calculator. Um, if you have the TID4 and you've got the new OS, that is, you can your square root looks like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, you can do this way. This is my favorite way. Okay. So we're going to do a matrix. So go alpha F3, and you'll bring up a menu you've never seen before unless you've done this. And you can select anything you want. We're going to make this matrix A here. So I need a two by two. So go two, enter, two, hit the enter key, right? Go down arrow, click OK, and there it is, right? And then I can go minus cos. This is, you know, you double check that you are in uh, degrees, right? <laughs> 40. And right arrow, uh, that one's going to be cos 20. So you can just type these in, right? Down, that one's sine of 20. And then this guy is uh, sine of 40. I think you got to do those. You got to do the um, right parentheses and then go all the way to the right here to your outside of the matrix. And then we're going to invert the matrix, right? That's kind of cool. So just press that. That's A inverse, right? Because see, ultimately what we're going to do is we're going to take that matrix A, we're going to invert it and multiply it by B, right? Okay, and then the matrix B, I need a matrix B, so F3, and then let's figure this out. We still need two rows, but just one column, right? So two is fine, right? So two, enter, and then one column, and then OK. And then you can go 0 and 122.625. And then when I hit enter, magically it will solve this equation for us. But isn't that fun? All right, now totally stop watching right now if uh, you know that's all you need is to how to solve this. But uh, I'm a computer programmer, so I'm just going to geek out here because um, oftentimes, I mean, I, I sort of like using those values. But how do you get that value out of the, the matrix? Let me show you how to do this. So see this button storage? I'm going to store that in a matrix, right? So go storage second matrix. Uh, you know, A is a good one to store. You could store it in B. Okay, I'm going to store it in A. There it is, there's matrix A, right? Now watch this. Second matrix will burp out A. Now watch, left parenthesis, one comma one. So if you're a programmer, this is like matrix A and we're, we're, uh, we're referring to, we're accessing a, a element there. And there's that first one. You could store that in the variable A if you want to, right? And then I can go up there and let's see, it's row and then column, so let's see. Isn't it RC? So two, we'll find out here. <laughs> two, one gives you that one. You could store that in alpha B. And now you've got the, those numbers out in a, in a variable. If I want A, I can get A out there. Two times A. There it is. That's kind of fun, right? Alpha B. Totally geeking out there. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that.